order for reaction we've already seen how to define an order and now we've also seen the methods for determining order for reaction so let us see certain examples if it is given in the exam how should you do it's very simple basically now a particular tableau column is given to us there are certain reactions elementary reactions given to us as i said elementary are which occurs in only one step and again they've given an experimental rate law already they've derived and experimentally they have given this particular thing normally what we do, what uh, what uh, we do like uh, once the reaction is given we pick up the concentration raised to the power correct but here already they've given me the experimental rate law they have to just calculate the order yes let's see for the first reaction with respect to reactant only we take the order not the product right so with the reactant so now this is your reactant they've given me this rate law or rate expression here what do you what power do you have on the top of n2 o5 there is nothing between it it's assumed as one with respect to reactant or uh, overall or this uh, is one so overall order is one simple now here nothing is given so one and one here what did they give us <laughs> they've given us uh, three by two correct so how many reactants there's only one reactant participating so overall order fraction three by two i said it will get it in fractions also but here they've given us two reactants correct there is one here so with respect to hydrogen it is one with respect to chlorine it is half correct so it is one and a half 1.5 now here what did they give us give they've given us two because he they didn't take it this but they picked up experimental value and given us because there's always variation in the experimental value so two so overall order is two done here they've given two two reactants with respect to hydrogen it is one with respect to bromine it's the same again see half so it is 1.5 simple now here what do they give us with respect to no it is two with respect to oxygen it is one so three simple so we have just written the orders and we have done this now next important thing is you are calculating or writing the units for this reaction very important yes now let us start with the units yes so what how should i write the units for this particular thing observe carefully now i have to write the units for each reaction with this relation just simple see suppose i if i take if i yeah if i take the first reaction now i want the rate constant out because i have to calculate the units for order so rate constant yes out so this becomes rt by concentration of n2o5 yes correct yes what is uh, the rate of a reaction unit it is equal to concentration concentration time inverse isn't it that is what this rate no concentration rate, rate of change concentration per unit time so time inverse divided by this is also concentration correct only one term fine what do you get you get concentration concentration cut so time inverse is a unit for the first one Yes. Now let us come back to the second one. I am doing the second one. I have very less less place. Okay. Now for the second one, again same K is equal to R T by H two O two. So how many concentration term? One only. Same. So concentration time inverse one by concentration. This in this gets cancelled. This is also same. Let us do the next one. Three by two. So K is equal to R T rate divided by C H three C H O aldehyde. Three by two. Now in the concentration term, rate well uh, rate means concentration unit is time inverse. Now here concentration three by two. Correct. Now. Just take it out. Now this is this is one, right? Basically, it is understood. It is one, one minus three by two. <laughs> it's your the half, isn't it? Right. So it's point. Uh, so half. So right, just right. Concentration. So when it goes above, it becomes minus half. Time inverse one. Now let us do for this. K is equal to rate divided by. You have to take both the terms now. H two. Cl two half, correct. 
Now here order is 1 plus half 1.5. So what do you get? Concentration time inverse 1 divided by this particular thing. What did, what did we get here? You have got concentration. So okay. And uh, concentration 1 here for this and again concentration 1 by 2. Yes. Now <coughs> this concentration, this concentration gets cancelled. I get concentration minus half time minus 1. Yes. Now let me come back. I am taking this now. K is equal to RT by NO is power 2. Correct. So right now concentration time inverse 1 divided by concentration square. Yes. Now this is 1. When this goes above it becomes <coughs> minus 1. Concentration minus 1 time minus 1. Let us write for this. Here. K is equal to RT by H2 concentration and BR2 raised half. Yes. Now again same thing. Concentration time inverse divided by concentration 1. Yes. And your concentration half. Just for you all to understand. Yeah. Now this is one and a half simple i have added if i go in that terms one and a half and this is one so point 0.5 that is minus half isn't it so here i can tell directly do this so concentration minus half time minus one now for this k is equal to rt by no2 so okay and only no2 and o2 so right so how many do i have here i have concentration time inverse 1 divided by here you have concentration square isn't it here you have only one concentration this and this gets cancelled simple here also you can do no 2 plus 1 3 3 when it goes above 1 minus 3 is minus 2 this becomes concentrated minus so, this is how we are going to do or calculate the rate constant using the order of a reaction. Just note it. One more question, simple, almost related to the same, but my main aim is you need to understand the concept. That is the reason I am giving you different examples. So, <laughs> this question, because in your board paper, it will be given like this only. So, calculate the overall order of the reaction which has a rate expression. So, rate expression is given to us. I have to calculate. I know order is equal to x plus y right here. So, half plus 3 by 2. This is, this is 2 correct. So, it is you have to write second order reaction. That's it. Simple. Now here, 3 by 2, fine, so this comes to half, isn't it, yes, so half order reaction, that's it, this is how you are going to solve the question.